Yeah. Okay, we are back again with Zezmo. Those are the raps I'm gonna do. I, I got a song I'm doing, yeah. and of course I rapped like that. It's gonna be one of the best reading in my life. You're home. rapping. I rapped in the beautiful song. Of you? course, you're gonna listen to it. It's called uh, Kwa Yesu Funa Squad. But of course, on I the show, <laughs> of course, on the show, we have Zezmo the show as we are here to premiere one of his new songs. He yeah, got two new songs, really. Do you know what? Yeah. Uh, Gwenonze. It's yes, another song with Yesu Gwenonze. Yeah. Another beautiful song that you're going to premiere this evening. But so that, I want you to say to our viewers uh, so like people get to know you bro yo what up rap it's your boy just for music and i'm out here at google day tv mm. with my brother brand Sechiranda on africa connect my name is Zesmo music yeah man yeah man uh, real record <laughs> in TV, right? In TV, <laughs> in TV yeah, representing. Yeah. I got a couple of friends back in Entebbe, of course, uh, Eli and I, mm. and of course, uh, Grace is from Entebbe, really? Isaiah Misamvu. Isaiah Misamvu, yeah. and of course, a couple of artists back in Entebbe. Thank you very much for being part of uh, Google TV and, of course, being uh, a part of uh, Connectors every time. Man, yeah, that not, man. yeah, kind of that. Uh, so, how is life, bro? Life is good, bro. Yeah. We've been pushing. Mm. Life is great. Mm. Yeah, lots of ups and downs, but yeah. we are still pushing. Mm. And the musical part of it? The music is great. Yeah. Uh, I'm so happy that my album is already out now. Mm. It's available on all digital platforms. Yeah. It's a privilege and an honor to be having music yeah. out there for mm. my fans to listen to. Amen, really. Yeah. Uh, of course, you heard what uh, Onos was talking about, how we should really uh, make our music viral. We are not doing a great job as artists, you know, yeah. uh, trying to market our music uh, via the continent of Africa, mm. uh, because a couple of artists do, the Nigerians do, the mm. Kenyans do. But yeah. what, what are we doing, really? We I just have the music on Facebook, on YouTube, mm. and that's the end, and Spotify. We don't really put uh, that much effort uh, to make sure our music goes to every house. Mm. It's, not, it's not only with the artist, but yeah. it is also with the community that is receiving our music. Mm. Yeah, we are doing a great job, but yeah. probably some of them are still interested in... Uh, in uh, Western music mm. and actually music that is not from Uganda. So yeah. they actually embrace more of other artists not in Uganda. Mm. So they are not so much proud of their own, yeah. which is not in regards to West Africa. Mm. You'll, you'll hear those Nigerian guys supporting their own brand, their yeah. own music, mm. which is not here in Uganda. But, but, but maybe what we do, we ourselves. The music, the kind of music we do, and the kind of how we talk to our people. Because what you do, uh, the tracks you do, mm -hmm. and the sound you produce matters most of the time. Mm -hmm. Me to fall in love with your song, it mm -hmm. has to touch on my heart. Mm -hmm. Maybe these people do, ex they put much extra effort on what they do, and mm -hmm. we lack it ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would tell you that Ugandans are doing much more better music mm -hmm. yeah. when it comes to lyrical content. Mm -hmm. It's just that we have this kind of uh, in inferiority complex yeah. when it comes to we Africa, mm. we Ugandans Uganda specifically. Actually, yeah. We don't totally embrace what the, 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 the local brand is mm. producing. So we end to fall in love with music that actually we do met better than that. Yeah, but maybe the language most of the time matters mm -hmm. because when you hear, uh, it's rare to find Sinache or Ada or Limo Blaze or Trevor's uh, is from the U.S. But of course, uh, uh, Tim Godfrey, Ebena, they use their little words, uh, their little in their language most of the time. They use a little bit. Mm. And mostly 90% they offer it to English, you understand? Mm. So they're going to sing something that you're going to know. Yeah. Uh, they're singing about something favor, you know, of course, favor. And we ourselves, uh, you know, Luganda. Okay, mm. uh, that's also another point that yeah. we have to discuss about. Mm. So um, it's not basically, if a song is nice, yeah. somebody will, even if it's in Luganda, somebody mm. will try to find means of translating yeah. it. Mm. I'll give you an example. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a drummer in church. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we play most of uh, South African music. Yeah. But the songs we play from South Africa are not in English. You they're don't in know Zulu it, yeah, and they're in Zulu, Zulu. Yeah. So we take the trouble to find a way of translating mm. these songs. Mm. So the thing is not the language. Yeah. The thing is appreciating yeah. the local brand. The local brand. The team is supporting mm. your very own. Yeah. L yeah. Like you back in your church, what have you done to make sure these people in your church really love what you do? As mm. you are, Isaiah, Kim Governor, you yourself. Mm. Yeah. The thing is, it, it, it's keeping on, even if they feel like, even if they say the music is not good, mm. even if they don't love what yeah. I do, the thing is, I, I wake up and still do the same thing. Mm. When they say the song is not nice, I'll, I'll ask the Holy Spirit what was lacking, mm. and he will give me wisdom, and I'll do another song. Yeah. Until, until I do something that 
I feel like now they have started appreciating. Mm. That's when I'm like, okay, yeah. I've reached somewhere. Now, and, and the issue of going uh, viral so much in Africa, uh, marketing our music, uh, do you take that time and say, as Zezmo this year, I got to have the media tours back in all African states, whereby the music is much played. Mm. Like when you talk about West Ghana and Nigeria, we talk about Cameroon, is a really, the, I, got to, I know some of the artists there. And of course, when you go to Zambia, we know many artists there. When you slope to South Africa, still there are many artists. You go to Malawi. Mm. Have you taken that time of saying, this year, I want to do great things. I want to do a media tour via online because we can do all this. People do yeah. this most of the time. Mm. Do you take that to say, I want to be, I want this message I'm singing mm. to reach every corner of this continent of Africa? That has been my plan yeah. for for this for for the coming few months, mm. especially that my album is out. I'm looking forward to marketing it as much as possible. Mm. I'm looking forward to making it reach as many souls as possible. Yeah. So the first step I took was to collect a couple of artists mm. from wherever I can get them from Africa, yeah. from Europe, from mm. Asia. Mm. We, co we we combine and do a project. Yeah then from that project i can be able to market through the project yeah so I, i'm first of all concentrating on getting other artists mm. that i can do a collab with yeah. yeah so we can start from there mm. because uh doing a media tour without having a song yeah. with an artist from that country mm. it's a bit tricky that is a good start uh sammy told me my nigerian presenter uh on kisa on, on some radio in nigeria he told me one thing that while they are doing this for them they do cypress most of the time get mm. a track or get a song mm. and uh, try to you know uh, get other people coming from other parts of the continent like east africa south africa yeah. uh east africa where and wherever so mm. that they could also saw them sing on the song because we're going to promote the song two of us yeah. you i sing with you you promote i promote on my channels you yeah. promote your channel that's how we can make it viral yeah. and of course on skype you're going to have a sister from the us i don't know if my producer uh we got my sister right on the skype as we really want to join the conversation with her uh, so that we make it really we connect up to america and of course uganda as we make gospel music viral uh, so uh, on the show back here on the screen how are you my sister Hello, I am good. How are you? Amen. Praise God. I would say that. Praise God. Yeah, how are you? Thank you for having me. Amen. Thank you very much for honoring our invitation to have you on the show still. Thank you. Yeah, you can say to our viewers. Of course, they get to know you. And where are you from, really? Yes, I am from United States. I yeah. live in Missouri. Yeah. Um, my name is Hollywood. My mm. artist name is Hollywood. And yeah. I love to create music for the kingdom of God. I yeah. love encouraging others and um, putting out music that spreads the gospel to win souls. Yeah. That's super amazing. That's what we're talking about. Zizmo, say hi to us. Hollywood, how are you doing? Hi, bro. Good morning. I know it's like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. in the morning, that, that side. Yes. So I'm glad you, you, you are awake and you're here. You're premiering some music tonight, yeah. this morning, this afternoon here. It's so good to be with you, yes. I'm so happy to see you and I'm so happy to connect with you one more time. Thank you. Okay. Uh, that is super amazing. Of course, all sorts we are so on and most of the time because our take is to make sure a gospel music around the world, we make sure it's played moreover everywhere. Yeah. Not just only sometimes, as Ellen I does in yeah. his song, really. <laughs> uh, so coming back, uh, we were asking ourselves, how do we really make sure our music gets everywhere uh, so that people could really live by the music that nurtures their souls? Yes, um, I think it's important um, as this more said, like to network, yeah. um, to get to know people, um, to reach out to people, to don't be afraid to, um, you know, contact them and do a project together. Um, mm. Also market yourself. Um, and honestly, the most important thing is to pray and to just stay before God. Yeah. And God will lead and guide you and he will open doors that no man can shut. Mm. That's true. Uh, but but sometimes people intend not to do, uh, they, they don't really have... Uh, that love most of the time because I, I've looked, I, I've been trying to come up with a project uh, sometime 
some time uh, to come up with a project of gospel artists to join us together, but it not really work out. It was like everyone talks about, I want something, I want something. You end up not really joining up. And, uh, I, you know, we keep asking ourselves, me and Zezmo, right? Yeah. But the love of this, uh, if we did a bad song, how can we really make it great? Bring in your idea, not you to deny completely, saying, yeah. I'm not going to do the song. Mm. Yeah. Well, how do we do, uh, get out with these things that happen uh, sometime? I know I hate this, I hate that. We just keep on moving. Yes, absolutely. I think it's important as an artist yeah. to um, continue to grow and mm. to keep an open mind and to reflect on what works in the music and to just continue to learn new skills, continue yeah. to step outside the box and try new things. Okay. Uh, Zizmo, do you have a question for our two about music, really? Um, maybe my, my question would be, mm. how is she looking forward to uh, doing more collabs with people in Africa and with people across the globe? Yeah. Is it's, she still welcoming other artists as well? Especially in Uganda. Yeah. We are really working so bad. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing more collabs. I'm looking mm. forward to um, doing more projects. Uh, whether it be a single or an album, yeah. um, I'm just looking forward to, to connect with people and to do it. Okay, that's nice. Oh, that's uh, that is nice. Uh, really, do you, do you do you know some of the artists back in Uganda apart from Zezmo himself on the show? Um, no, I do not. Oh man, we're really working so bad like that. I wish you could know. We got a lot of uh, a lot of artists really uh, back in Uganda. Really, so many. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so before we go, we talk so much. Uh, well, let's really play the music. We premiere your new song. And of course, I want you to talk about that song. And of course, Zezmo 2, we're going to premiere two songs, double premiere, you and Zezmo. And of course, we talk about the new project you guys, you've got you and Zezmo. And of course, how it's going to inspire people. And of course, how you build up that, uh, the lyrical part of it. And of course, the message in the song. And we really play that song. So talk about the song. Yes, the song. Um the song from that's more feature or my my song my you your song really joy is it's joy yeah, song it's joy. yeah yes. yeah joy um that song is very special to me because it came from a place where a lot of things were happening all around the world um and it was kind of hard to i was like god should i release this song called joy and god was like yes release the song because no matter what's going on around you, the world didn't give you your joy, so the world can't take it away. The joy comes from the Lord. And yeah. so I released that song, and um, it's just a song from my heart about the joy that God gives me no matter what's going on around me. Okay. Uh, Zizmo, your song with uh, Jay Watts, and of course the new song too. Uh, Jay Watts, uh, that song Lord Knows, mm. it's, uh, it's an inspiration from... Uh, uh, that album of Joe Watts called on my own. Yeah, he reached me out and he was like, "I need to do. I need to put a Christian rap on this mm. project." And I was like, "Okay, I can do something." So mm. I was like, "Lord knows I'm a winner. I can never be a loser." The thing yeah. is, the song is all about you being a winner, never being a loser. Mm. Yeah, you, so we got to be winners. We are winners. In yeah, the we are winners. Yeah. Really. Yeah. So it's super amazing. I want my producer to play the songs. Of course, double premiere. And of course, we come back and of course we talk about more issues about the you new songs that you've got. And of course, other things later on, you guys will be signing out. Of course, without God, we can never be anywhere. Of course, for you watching, if you're watching the show, just know if you have God in your life, just keep on moving, just keep on, you know, going on forward. I love this song, really. Uh, it inspires me to move on. Yeah. I look where I've come from and where I'm going and where yeah. I am. Yeah. It's all about God most of the time. Yeah. Let me know a story about you a bit. In a small time. <laughs> it's, a, it's a song that uh, mm. actually me, I was inspired to sing on yeah. this song because uh, it is it was giving uh, a picture of what I've been going through yeah yeah what I was way back and what God has done for me right now mm. I, I'm different now yeah it's I'm not the old I'm now new like I'm so happy that now I can testify that God has done something for me in my life Man, but the, the times I was in Kenya in Kisumu I had no transport uh, from Kisumu to Jinja then I was at the bus, I had only 250 Kenyan shilling, and I wanted 500 from Kenya, from Kisumu to Jinja. Yeah. But then, then I was like, what am I going to do? My dad gave me a little money. He told me, man, I got no money. So 
Where you, you have half the money that can bring that you. can bring it. It would end me in Busia, and then from Busia to uh, Jinja, I had no way through. But of course, by the grace, by God's grace, yeah. I got a, a driver, an Askari, and he told the driver, "This guy is, has nothing really completely, so uh, just help me, just help me, just help me, just help him out." And the guy that helped me out, and I was, I reached in Jinja, I was like, "What? With God half is the money? With half the money?" Huh. Okay, Sylvia. That's why God does. God does a lot That's of things, let me tell you, brothers yeah. and sisters. Uh, so we are back on the show, of course, my sister uh, in the USA. Hollywood. Is it Hollywood? Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah. Ah, we are back on the show. Uh, we're talking about this song. Uh, it's really an amazing song uh, because without God, we can never be anywhere most of the time. Yeah. Do, do you have any story that you've ever had in your life and then uh, say, without really God, uh, without, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't really, you know, uh, shine or make the videos I'm doing or sing the songs I'm singing. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes, uh, definitely. Um, with music, I used to have terrible stage fright, so yeah. I would never sing in front of anybody. Um, mm. I would never sing. I would never rap. I would never do anything. I was just behind the scenes and God um, really spoke to me was like, you know, these gifts I've given you are not yours, you know, they're mine. You have mm. to use them for the kingdom. And so uh, God really stepped in and he um, helped me become more confident in him. And the yeah. more confident I became in him, the more confident I became in sharing my music to, with other people. Okay. Oh, super amazing. Uh, this one and uh, Joy, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, let me talk about this. Uh, w your song that you did, what really inspired you guys to join up? Tell us about the song. Uh, draw me close. I just, I, I was working on my album. Yeah. And uh, I, 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 I met Hollywood, mm. and I was like, oh, um, I liked how she was. I liked her craft. Yeah. And uh, I was so inspired by how she was doing her lyrical content, and mm. I was like, I reached her, and I was like. I'm I'm working on an album. Yeah. Um. Which type of uh, beats? Which type of music should we do? Like, yeah. are you willing, first of all, to mm. do a collab with me? And she was like, Oh yeah, bro, I I can do something for you. I, yeah. I'm I'm really ready to do something. And then uh, I got a beat from my producer Isaiah, mm. Mm. and I listened to the beat, and it was really rocking hard in my head. Yeah. I came up with a hook, mm. and then I was like, I'm going to send you a hook. Yeah. I sent her a demo, and she was mm. like this is really what I love to do. Yeah. I love trap. And she came up with a verse and it was lit. So mm. I did my verse and the song was already done and mm. she did great on the right. project. Well, why is it for the first time you just said yes? You never say, and she say, it's a Nara, uh, let me think about it. Let me do this. You know, some artists do that. I want to know the artists, uh, the, the kind of numbers you got. Uh, they look at subscribers. Mm. Uh, they look at the following of someone most of the time. Mm. And for you yourself, you never said, no, I'm going to let, I'm going to just do it with Zesmo. Why, really? Um, honestly, it's because I've been, I listen to some of the music he has. Mm. And it is definitely like edifying the kingdom. Yeah. Um, like his heart is really um, like at God's feet. And so I, I love that. Um, mm -hmm. I love it when artists can have really good music, like yeah. really quality music and also have a heart for God. So mm. when he asked me um, if I wanted to collab, it was like, absolutely, because I love what you're doing and I want to, you know, be a part of sharing this message. Mm. Okay, uh, wh wh what do you talk about these artists who sometimes think twice uh, before they do anything? Is it really, uh, if you, you know, I don't know something, it's good you let me know. Uh, Brian, I want to sing, I'm going to do a song with you, but you got to change something like this. There are people who do that. W what message do you have for them? Um, I think it's definitely um, wise to use caution and you be led um, by the spirit on who you collab with. Yeah. Um, I just I think with collabs with this more, it was um, I don't know. I had a peace about it, peace okay. from God about it. Mm. Um, I'm definitely um, um, just use caution yeah. on just jumping into something. But I I, I knew uh, that he really has a heart for God, and I knew this is something I really wanted to do. 
Okay. Uh, Zizmo, coming back to you, have you ever reached in that point where you ask someone for the corrobor mm. and he says, man, I, I, I got, send me everything that is all about you. <laughs> and of course, you send the song, you know the song. Have you ever that, uh, made that situation sometime? Um, the only thing what they have done mm. is like, they, they don't even tell me that, but they, they just shine away. They, oh, they, man. Yeah. So, but it has given me something that mm. I've learned from it. Yeah. That I've learned to sing mm. because people have refused to collaborate with me. Mm. So I've just, I've just, I've just learned. Uh, it, it has happened to me with girls mostly. Yeah. I'm like, please come and do a hook for mm. me, and somebody's like, no, I'm not coming. I'm busy. I'm, I'm this and that. Mm. So I end up doing this the song myself so for me it has really helped me so oh, much okay uh, that means as baganda say uh, yeah who says you uh, he gives you the way definitely <laughs> okay definitely <laughs> okay yeah. uh, who do like when are you really planning to come to ug uh uganda to you know uh, meet a couple of artists meet a couple of people uh, so that you know we can share your knowledge uh with us back in uganda how we could go for the music how we could really become good rappers uh you know make a better uh, songs for our brothers and sisters back in Africa, mainly in East Africa? Yes, I would love to come. Yeah. I would, whenever God opens the door for me to come, mm. I would honestly come. Okay. Um, I would be honored to come and to collab and to get to know people and to get to know other artists mm. to help promote. Um, yeah. I'm not sure when, but whenever the opportunity is there, I will definitely be there. Okay. That would be great. It would be really great, really, to host you live on the studios, in the studios of Google TV, back in Uganda. Okay. I'm more. sorry. Uh, we shall be really honored to have you in Uganda when you come, when you happen to okay. come to Uganda and live in the studios of uh, Google TV. Thank you. Yeah. We shall welcome her with open arms. Mm. Uh, so there's more. Any new project coming up? And of course, we go to Hulu, Hollywood, as you say. Mm. Yeah. Uh, how, to tell us our new project, of course, we sign out. I have a new project mm. called Yes mm. It's a beautiful song I just released. It's also off my, my album, Leap of Faith. Yeah. Uh, it's actually like number, number, it should be number 16 on the, on the track, mm. on the track list. Yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's a new video shot by mm. uh, Roland's. Mm. Ronald Rollins mm. with Wado Star Pictures yeah. Wallet. Mm. So it's a beautiful song that talks. It's non political. Mm. Don't take it too political. Yeah. But I'm just telling everyone that I've voted Jesus. Mm. No matter the circumstances. Me, I'm still voting Jesus Christ. Mm. Yeah. Not the vote of the hearth. Yeah. But the vote of heaven. The vote of heaven. Yeah. Really? yeah. <laughs> Straight for the kingdom. For the kingdom. Yeah. Uh, back to you. New project coming up. I like new songs. Of course, I saw a couple of your videos, uh, your videos that you do. I love that really most of the time because you feed your YouTube channel uh, those uh, simple rap she does yeah. on her YouTube channel. Yeah. I love that really mostly. If artists could do that, mm. we could make our YouTube busy yeah. and engaging with our fans yeah. who really download our music. Mm. How, do you, how did you come up with that idea? Anytime, you know, you got your phone, you do the raps, and then, you know. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah. I um, started doing a thing called Freestyle Fridays yeah. where I would um, make a new video every Friday. Mm. just to um people coming back to see what's new while yeah. yet like sharing mm. the gospel and so i don't have like fancy camera or anything so i'll just go outside with my phone yeah. and shoot a video and just use what use what i have to um share share the gifts i have yeah Okay, that is super amazing. I love that, really. That's what you tell my brothers and sisters. Let's make our YouTube busy. Anytime when I join, I visit your YouTube. I get to see something new. I can really, that's how we make news when it comes to yeah. media most of the time. Mm -hmm. Now, I got a story, to, I got news to tell about you uh, for the things that you really post on your YouTube channel. And uh, new projects coming up, like new songs. Do we have anyone, videos, and uh, apart from the collaboration you got with Zezmo? Um, right now, I'm working on bringing back more of the Freestyle Fridays. Um, just every Friday on my Instagram and on my YouTube channel. Um, I'm also in the in the process of working on a new single that I don't have a date for release yet, but it's coming soon. Okay, nice, a nice one. Are you last word to our viewers because time is not our best ally? I'm sorry. 
Uh, your last uh your last view uh, your last uh you know comment and of course uh your last words yeah. to our viewers really because time is not our best ally you know i i picked it from shaka suddenly saying time is not my best ally yeah. so a uh, kind of that really <laughs> yes i just um like to say no matter uh, what your dream is yeah. always follow what god put in your heart um because if you put it in your heart he'll make a way for it mm. to come to pass um, and so just keep going for it no matter what and God will bless it okay thank you very much for joining us on Africa Connect we are so thank honored thank you so much yeah we shall always endeavor host you anytime you got a new song let us know we shall be here for you my sister thank you so much You're it's welcome. an honor to be here amen oh, too uh, coming back to you Zezmo and yeah. of course uh, your last words too I just want uh, to tell my friends out there, my yeah. fans out there, that mm. I got a new album, Leap of Faith. It's available on all digital platforms. Yeah. If you haven't put your hand on it, if you haven't had something new, go check it out. Just Google Just More Music. Mm. Go also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm about to upload my album there. Yeah. It's not yet there, but it's available on Tidal, it's available on Spotify. And all other platforms. Mm. Go like, like, go share my my link. Go like my Facebook page, mm. like my Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Let's be friends. Let's connect. Yeah. yeah. And coming back on beats and sound, I'll really host you. Maybe Maggie. Uh, we talk about how do you put your music on Spotify? How do you put your music on some of the digital stores? Uh, so that because there are a couple of artists who don't know that, how okay. you put your music there? Uh, so in that segment, that coming soon, uh, mm. we're gonna have you so that Maggie could really uh, host you. On that case, uh, right. you tell us how we can make it because we're here to teach to know what we don't know most of the time it's okay i'll come and deliver oh it was a very amazing time to have you on the show there's more and of course uh, my producer i'm not saying